小娃娃，小娃娃，小娃娃，小娃娃。Uh, first and foremost, we'd like to give all praises, all praises, all praises to, to the Most High, to the Most High, to the Most High, to the Most High, to the Most High. So today we are making egg, egg, egg. egg and bacon. Right. What kind of bacon? Chicken bacon. And chicken bacon. Chicken bacon. <laughs> We're not making chicken bacon. I don't even know if this is a thing. Chicken bacon. We're making turkey bacon. Oh, turkey bacon. Can we make pork bacon? No. no. Turkey bacon. Yeah, turkey bacon. You got holes in your leggings? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> why, so why can't we make, why can't we eat turkey bacon, I mean pork bacon? No, we can't eat turkey, pork bacon. Why not? Because the most I said no. The most I said la ah. La ah. Y'all, forgive me, I got my phone when it's five hours. I fixed my tripod. So that's what we're about to do today. I'm about to do, um, have to help me make some eggs. Okay, I'm right here. You're not a ball. All right, so. All right, so are y'all ready? Yep. Mama. So what do we need first? Eggs. Okay, so we need eggs. All right, we got the eggs. What else we need? Mom, can No. What else we need? Mom, this is cracked. Already just cracked. Some of them is cracked in there. What else do we need? Um, Grits. No, what else do we need to make the egg? Bacon. Mm -mm. Chicken bacon. What do we need to make the egg? Make the bowl. We need the bowl. Bowl. What else? How, you, how can we make the uh, eggs? How are we gonna? How are we gonna stir it? What do we need? A spoon. You need a spoon. A fork spoon. Here. I just. Not No. They're the same thing. This one. This. How do you know it's cracked like that? It's cracked like that. It's alright. All right, so. I'm right here. Yeah. So now, what do we do? I'm putting it right here. Wow. Let me put it down a little bit. So now, what do we do? Mom, I can't see the camera up there. I don't know. We're going to record you doing this. Okay. What are you supposed to do now? This. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Do what you got to do. Ah! Me? Yeah. Take your eggs by yourself? Yes. Wait, wait, wait. So, okay, so you go on over the eggs. Crack, 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 crack. What is this? Crack, 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 crack. It's frozen? Oh, Lord. How Oh no, oh boy. Oh my gosh, it's still in there. Oh boy, get out, get out, get out. Put it in there. Now I just. Wait. Put it over the bowl. No, Let you crack it. No, that's one. Yeah. Let Jayla crack it. Don't be afraid. You can wash your hands afterwards. Just gotta get your hands messy a little bit. And if you got some shells in there, you take it out. Yeah. Right? Um, All right. I'm making. Well, you need some more eggs. Uh, um, Everybody's eating. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me show you how to do it. Are you gonna grab? You gonna grab another one? <laughs> Put the, the shells in there. 
Ew. Ew. Alright. So I'm you want me to show you all a trick? Get the um go back out of there. The shelves. Alright, hold this. I'm gonna show y'all a trick. Hold that. You show me a trick? Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Alright, come on, A.K.A. Don't let me down, right? Oh! Hey, don't let mommy down. Alright, ready? I wanna beat your bunny butt. Stop. Ready? Stop. Yeah. Oh! oh! It didn't work. Alright, let me try it again. Ready? Set, go. Oh! <laughs> you can try to trick it another time. Cause we don't got that many eggs to be wasting. Well, we only got two eggs left. Alright, don't play with it. Let me wipe it up. <laughs> Mama's honey. It's not honey. Come yeah, on, huh? Wipe the ends. Mama's honey. Mom. What? It's honey. That was a fail. We can try next time. We don't got that many eggs to be wasting. On baby? Nope, not yet. We got these eggs. We got a crack. This is how you crack an egg the right way. Leave it. Ready? Look, Jayla, you paying attention? Yes. Yeah. You crack it one time, and it. Yo. Yo. What? It's freezing. My 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 refrigerator is out of control. The egg is frozen. Yeah. We're one that's not frozen. It's only two. I I don't believe it. Don't believe it. <laughs> so we in the kitchen cooking. This is what my son doing. This is what he doing. What are you doing? Yeah. All right, y'all. So I made this video last night, right? Recorded it, everything, and pretty much you couldn't hear me talking the whole time. So I'm gonna do it right now. All right. So pretty much the video was gonna be titled why it's important to be a one of the burden. And it has been on my spirit to do it. So here we are, I'm gonna bring out a couple pieces while I'm cooking. But, uh, so basically I had been meditating on this preset. This is Galatians chapter six, verse two. It says, bear ye one another burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. The law of Christ. So the most I said, we gotta bear one another's burdens. Okay. And Sometimes that may be you being selfless. It's you being selfless in certain situations, right? Because everybody's going through something. Everybody might be dealing with a uh, different type of spirits. Everybody's dealing with something. But if, are you going to say to yourself, "Well, I'm dealing with this. So I don't got time for somebody else's. Uh, I don't got time for somebody else's problems." No, the Most High said, "Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ." Because when Christ was on the scene, when Hamashiach Yahweh was on the scene, he always reiterated, he always reiterated, he always said, love your neighbor as you love yourself, right? So if you love yourself, if you truly love yourself, you're going to look at your sister and you're going to say, that's my sister, and you're going to look at your sister as you look at yourself. You're going to treat, you know how they say it in the world, you're going to, you treat somebody the way you want to be treated, right? And that's, that's scripture, that's biblical, right? I want to bring that up. Hebrews, I'm gonna read this precept out. And, you know, and so lucky. So it may be, it may be tough. It may be times what may get tough for you and somebody calling you like they dealing with something. But are you gonna hang up the phone and be like, look, I'm dealing with this. I, I don't have time for you. I can't do it. Like, I can't do it. No, you're gonna, y'all gonna come, y'all gonna converse, y'all gonna talk about it. And at the end of the day, you're going to feel better. Why? Because we got this. We got Yahweh Barshim Shai. Right? And as you read these words in this book, your spirit will be like, Who's screaming like that? No, why are you screaming? Stop screaming. Yo, it's 12 o'clock. I'm cooking breakfast. Too lucky. Anyway, so we woke up late this morning. And I I love it. 
because <laughs> usually up in his house 5 30 6 o'clock sometimes 4 30 we slept to 8 o'clock for that baby and it was amazing so happy sunday but so anyway that's what i was saying i don't know what i'm saying i, I lost my train of thought she's screaming all crazy i'm gonna get this preset hebrews chapter 10 verse 24 and it reads and let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works so the most i said considering one another so that we can book so that we can provoke one another unto good works right because you may be going through something but you might provoke somebody to do look i know you're going through this that and the third but you could so you could say something like i know you're going through this but have you tried this we could try this together do you want to go on a fast we can go on a fast together would you like me to fast for you those are the things that you can consider for your sister right and so i wanted to also say as mothers i'm speaking from my perspective i'm a mother of four kids i got four kids in there i have a very busy life okay stay at home moms don't just sit around all day and if you sit around all day and you can sit here and tell me that you got some stuff together in your household then tell me the secrets give me the tea we don't sit around all day we don't just be lazy all day we're not idle if you read these scriptures, you're not going to be idle. I'm kind of getting off topic, but you're not going to be idle. You're going to be in the word. You're going to be up. You're going to be doing things. Our lives get busy. But is that to say we can't deal with nobody else? I, I can't. That's, I'm talking to myself as I'm talking to you. I, I can get better with calling sisters, you know, even for myself. Let me call the sister because I'm really, I'm really like feeling overwhelmed today. And then nine times out of ten, my sisters come through for me, right? And I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know why I was thinking like that. It, it works every time, right? Um, so the most I said, let me read it again. This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 24. And it says, let us consider one another to provoke one another to love and to good works. To love, keeping the commandments. Making sure your sister is not falling into temptation. Making sure she's not falling into a depression. Making sure your sister is fasting. Checking up on your sister on a day-to-day -day basis. Most I said, um exhort one another while it is today because we don't know if we're going to be here tomorrow we don't know if we're going to make it to the end of the day yeah how wish i said be therefore perfect which your, which your father in heaven is perfect per roughly paraphrasing y'all but uh matthew 5 and 48 so being perfect means striving for perfection keeping the law of and commandments Provoking your sister unto good works. Provoking one another unto good works. Calling and checking up with one another. Fasting for one another. Right? And then, um, you know, sometimes you gotta be, you can't be afraid. You just can't. It's almost done. Bear, 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 baby. Bear. Um, provoking one another to, uh, unto good works. Sometimes you gotta step outside your comfort zone, you know? And, um, get comfortable with being uncomfortable that, that's that's what this thing about that's what it's about that's what it's about being uncomfortable sometimes mommy and you'll get to it if you believe in the yes if you believe you in salakia jayla one second if you believe in your house me now shy things are going to get uncomfortable for you because the most i say he chasing the ones he loves so if you go into things you got to glorify you got to glory in tribulation all right and I'm gonna get like some more precepts. I actually wanted to get Mommy. A, an account on bearing one another's burdens. Jayla, leave that alone. I'm not playing around. Go sit down. You're not about to get anything if you. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna get an account on just an example of bearing burdens. This is the book of Acts, chapter 11, verse 20, um, 27. And it reads, and in these days came prophets from Jerusalem unto Antioch, and there stood up one of them named Agabus, and sanctified by the Spirit that there, were, that there should be great dearth throughout all the world, which came to pass in the days of Claudius Caesar. Then the disciples, every man according to his ability, 
determined to send relief unto the brethren which dwelt in Judea, which also they did and sent to the elders by the hands of Barnabas and Saul. So it says, the disciples, every man according to his ability, right? Determined to send relief unto, relief unto the brethren. So everybody came together as a collective, right? They came and gave uh, a certain portion according to their ability to send relief to, uh, to the uh, brethren that was in Judea, right? Because it was going to be a famine to say, okay, we got to come together. It's about to be a famine in this land. Let's come together, get them this, this, this. They're going to be good for a certain amount of time. And that's what we're supposed to do in the shoot. Come together. Gather together. Oh, nation not desire. Because if we don't do it for each other, who going to do it? Nobody's going to do it for us. Especially not these other nations. Mm-mm. I'm going to get one more precept. I'm so lucky, y'all. So lucky, yeah. Okay? If y'all know what so lucky means, it means forgive. Please forgive me. I'm going to get one more precept, and then I'm going to get these kids these this food because they act like they act like they starving. They act like they starving. All right, this is uh, First John chapter three verse eighteen. It says, "My little children, let us consider not love in word, neither tongue, but in deed and in truth." Right? So you can't just say a whole bunch of stuff. You can't say, "Oh, I'm gonna do this for you." Oh, I'm gonna do this for you. And then when somebody call you, you don't answer the phone. I got you. I got you, sis. I'm going to do this, that, and whatever you want to do, I got you. If you want to fast, when it's, so when it's time to fast, the sister call you like, okay, we're going to go on the fast. Whatever. Oh, no, nah, I can't really do fast tonight. I got too much stuff going on. The Most High said, my little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, just talking, but in deed. And in truth, right? And shout out to Tessa Light because she always tells, you know, she always reminds us to go into, you know, certain definitions of words. And and, and it's true. And it's, it's like, and it's true. Ultimately, that's what you want to do when you read the precepts. Go into certain words so you can understand, get the understand of the precepts, right? So I want to get the definition of D. Oh. Oh. Um. So the definition of deed is an action that is performed intentionally or consciously. So some synonyms are act, action, effort, right? So the most I said. All right, so like it. So I said one more precept. This is the last precept. This is the last precept. This is um Matthew chapter five verse sixteen. And it reads, let your light shine so before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So it's kind of going into what I was bringing about about Tabitha. Let your light shine doing good works, good, doing alms deeds, right? So that you can ultimately, so people can see you and say, wow, call her, let's see how much she can shine. That's, that's mighty. Wow, she always there for me. Wow, she, 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 every time I call her, she right there. She always answering her phone, no matter what time it is, right? So, all crazy to see how about showing my chef. I'm like, y'all, shine y'all so lucky because they finna get. I might even go put that on camera. But, all crazy to see how about showing y'all, shine y'all. Exhort one another. Call that sister. Call her. Okay? Check up on her. Make sure she out. Just, shalom. Sis, how you feeling today? Alright? But, shalom, y'all. I love y'all. And I gotta go because I gotta see these kids and get, get them in order because they, they, they wildin' out. They wildin' out! You eating? Mmm. Mom, look what Nana did. That's all right. That was you. You got your food? Mm -hmm. No, Good. that was not me. That was not me. Yeah, so I'm pretty much done cooking. And look, look at this. So I'm body cooking. I'm going to come over here and just straighten this up. Straighten this up real quick and mop the floor. Throw out the garbage.
Cause look at my floor, it's disgusting. All right. Let's have some coffee and get to it. Get down. Get down. Too heavy. What's your problem? Mm -hmm. Oh, boy, you know you're too heavy for that. What's wrong? I think he mad because his, his sisters was messing with him all morning. So now he want to be screaming. Every second. <laughs> he gonna do that for about 24 hours. 25 more minutes. 30 more minutes. Y'all decided that that was a good idea. Look at this. Look. Oh, I can't get up there. You know, it's kind of unbelievable because I was praying for patience. I'm always praying for patience. And things like this happen. Right? So then how, you, how do you practice patience? Sometimes I have to go upstairs and I do some prayers. Right now, right now, I'm going to keep my composure. I'm going to practice patience. I'm going to yell. I'm not going to scream. I'm going to have them clean up this mess. Okay. So this is a perfect example of practice and patience. Y'all know what I, y'all know what I really want to do. Cause they know better than that. They know better. Than that. Let it go. Put the garbage in his bag. Yeah, if you don't want your strawberries, give them to Jonah. I don't want my strawberries. Give them to Jonah. Give them strawberries to Jonah. Just the strawberries, Donna. Just give him the strawberries. I had to walk away from the situation. And you know what? It's probably gonna be worse when I go back in there. Cause I've got a two year I've got a three year old and a four year old clean up bricks. It's never a good idea. But I had to walk away. Cause I'm like I'm just like unbelievable. Today was not a real productive day. Okay. Nothing was nothing is in order. It's chaotic in here today. And you know what? It's probably because we got up at the same time. We all got up at eight thirty. They got up before me, so that's never good. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. That's never good. I mean, kids get up before you. But I'm still trying to keep my composure, right? Because crazy my son just calmed down about 30 minutes screaming yelling making noise whistling so i wanted to share this with y'all i have put it on my instagram live last night but i don't really have too many sisters on there so i just want to share this video and pretty much it's it goes into what i was talking about exerting one another but me and my sisters had this book right here and pretty much in this book we exhort one another 
um we have different pages i'm gonna get into it but so basically we switch every sabbath day when we come together for the class uh somebody else get the book so i'm gonna read a, a little bit of this i put shalom the lord put it on my spirit to come up with a way to check up on each other and to encourage one another which is very much needed in these last days so i came up with this idea this book that we can pass around it will be a place where we can write prayer requests scriptures draw if you want anything you want that's going to uplift each other so and then i write i wrote a couple a couple other things in here but so basically that's that's pretty much the whole point of this book to uplift one another right and i'm gonna share some of the pages Tazamat, which means grow and this is, pretty, this is a, the name of our group chat but you kind of see and get an idea what i'm talking about so we just put scriptures um you know a little commentary this is really nice this is kind of fire Okay, I'll bring this. So yeah. Some things very simple but still mighty. This one was really cool. If you remember the song Hezekiah. What's love? What's love? What's love? Uh, 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 love. Oh, <laughs> but uh, this one was really cute. This one was like a, I did I did this one. It was like a spiritual assessment, and they had to rate it. I told them to pretty much uh, write it down on a piece of paper. Yeah. Salaki, yeah, that's my son. They always mess up with him. This one was cool. Songs around his dedication. So, so yeah, I want to show you this one too. This one, it has little envelopes, and then we have like a little precept in here. Can y'all leave Jada alone, please? So we have, this one says comfort, and you put a scripture in there for comfort. And if you take it out, you got to refill it with a different preset. Right? And then I made this one, 20 things to give up, right? Boom, I highlighted that one, right? Hitting that snooze button in the morning, right? Stop being idle, get your butt up, and do what you got to do for the day. Then you could chill out. Then you could kind of relax once you get everything done. Right, come. And it says Control Alt Delete. Not right now. Hold it. Hold it, bro. Okay. It says it says Control your thoughts, alter your attitude, and delete negativity. All right. Uh, I put a couple presets, and then it says Where is your mind? What's on your mind? What What's going on in that in that brain? So. Can you stop? <coughs> right? And I'll just put some things that you might want to give up. Because these, these things over here is all negative things. Complaining, being that spirit of what if, being lazy, being fearful, negative self-talk, not having confidence in yourself, right? Repeating mistakes, dwelling on mistakes, putting off simple things too much time on social media all these things is gonna hinder you from being uh it's gonna hinder you from striving to be perfect right making excuses not to exercise that's that's one of the things that we kind of be working on but comparing yourself to other sisters looking at the things in a negative way wasting time worrying about things you can't change overthinking saying i don't have time right so these things on this side, you don't you don't want to be dealing with these things. All of these things put you in a bad mood, right? You don't be in the spirit. How you gonna be in the spirit when you worrying? How you gonna be in the spirit when you're complaining, right? How you gonna be in the spirit when you being lazy? You gotta walk in the spirit. Put these things off. Cast these things away. All right? Every day is another step where this could be put behind you. 
Stop complaining. Right? Another day the Lord give you, when you wake up in the morning, the Lord gave you that day not to be lazy. He didn't give you another day so you could be lazy. Huh? So, yeah. That's pretty much it, y'all. And, you know, it'll be real creative. You can, and I encourage sisters to do, to do the same. Right? If you have sisters that you could do this with, do it. It's cute. It's encouraging. And you can also do this for yourself. You could get it, get your own little notebook, go into it. And then you could kind of go back. Go back. And meditate on it. Like, oh, it's not, I wrote that. Con. Okay. Pray for discernment. Yup. Pray for the fruits of the spirit. Yup. Right? These things, if, I, if I'm in the spirit of saying it's impossible, I'm too tired, I can't do this, why me? I know it's a precept to say, I will give you rest. Matthew 11 and 28. I'm going to give you wisdom. I'm going to direct your steps. Right? I have loved you with an everlasting love. These are the precepts that you want to meditate on so you can strive for perfection. Because you understand that there's a greater thing waiting for you. All right. All right. So, yeah. I just kind of wanted to share that with y'all. It's a really good idea. I got this book from the Dollar Tree. It's kind of tore up. But it's... It's holding on. Uh, that's pretty much the end of this video. I pray sisters are encouraged. Happy Sunday. Shalom, y'all. To my next video. Love y'all. Shalom.